just loaded up on, I think, close to like a couple dozen lobsters. We have plenty of lobsters in Conk, and we're going to have a fresh lunch, and we're going to a deserted island to do a cook with our catch. Good morning, what's happening everyone? I hope you all are doing well. If you're new to this channel, my name is Darcizzle, and you're watching Darcizzle Offshore. And in today's video, we are here in Old Bahama Bay, located in West End, Bahamas. And I just walked out of my uh, hotel room, slash resort, and we are headed over to the water. I'm fishing with Captain Kenneth today. And actually, we're gonna probably be doing some diving and snorkeling, maybe some fishing, but they are picking us up right here on the beach, 100 feet away from our resort here. This is pretty sweet. So this is how our day is gonna get started, and I know it's only gonna get better. is we are going to be diving for lobster and conch today and I'm with Captain Kenny of uh, West End Water Sports out of Old Bahama Bay Resort and today we have two different methods of what we're going to be using in order to catch these lobsters here and there's this fine lobster you would see in Florida where I go lobstering and also we're just going to be picking up some conch too so hopefully we find a bunch of the two methods of catching the lobster starting with this gap you use a short little gap and you would actually like when they're in the rocks or walking around in the grass, you're going to try and hook them with this hook underneath the soft shell of their body and just grab them like that. Like, I don't know, just use the gap and pull them up. And then you have a Hawaiian sling here. That's the next method to use it. I've never used a Hawaiian sling. Maybe I'll eventually use it today. But you see, we've got our, uh, I don't even know what this is called, this piece of it. And then you, got, you attach this to the bottom and then that's how you would uh, be able to push the sling and have this shoot out the barb and catch it that way. So we're going to see how it goes today. I think I'd be able to get on a couple. We're in seven to eight feet of water right now, so that's perfect snorkeling conditions. So now it's time to get in the water and get some lobster and conch. on I think close to like a couple dozen lobsters thanks to Chris and I but Chris did most of the work there but we have plenty of lobsters in conch and we're going to have a fresh lunch and we're going to a deserted island to do a cook with our catch So we break them out. Just head right there, put a hole in her, and you see the little white meat underneath there? Yep. Just grab the knife underneath the white meat. Check one jaw. Wow. It comes right out. It comes right out. Wow. Everybody so wants you to try. You have to eat it. I have to eat that? Yeah, what you is have that? You have to no. eat it. No. What is that? Eat the price on so she can see it. 
Is that good? That's good. Oh man. So I gotta you get one too? Yeah, you have to eat one. Oh man, alright. Bohemian Viagra. Uh, Bohemian Viagra. Oh my gosh. Alright guys. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try it. Here we go. It's pretty good. It was, yeah, it's like a gummy bar bear, right? Exactly. Yeah. Not a lot of taste to it, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. Chewy. <laughs> Very chewy. Cool. Cut the pot off. Get it back the white. Yep. Take all off the jacket. That's how we clean it up. And that's the part that would need for this, conch salad. Ah, uh, the white part. Got yes. it. So you got it. Professional. White. Wow. All right. Is that good? Yep. Sweet. Let's grab it. Okay. And check it underneath. Let's keep checking. All right. That should be good. All right. Okay. Take him out. There you go. Cool. I kind of did it with help. <laughs> nice. Put this down. And then, uh, yeah, I guess that these are their eyeballs, like you guys saw before. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's what they see with. And then that's their actual claw that they use to walk along the bottom. That's pretty neat. And now he's got to take the guts out. This is all the guts. So I'm going to let him finish that process. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the cook portion. We're here on the deserted island, and this is called Sandy Key. Um, it's a pretty cool location. And Chris is over there still working on conch. I, got to, I was able to go ahead and uh, clean one myself. And this cool big lobster we've got to eat, so we gotta clean both. We gotta clean this lobster. But I just wanted to say I didn't realize like how gorgeous conch were when they're alive, especially the inside the shell. Like just look at those colors, amazing, really cool. And then all the other conch have different shades, pink and orange and yellow. And back in the United States, you're not allowed to keep conch; it's illegal. So we can't even like pick them off, pick them up off the seafloor or anything like that. Lobster, I catch these all the time, but these I never get to ever handle. So it's really cool to see this in person and they're delicious so we take out the guts we use a piece of the whip yep break that off i know that trick <laughs> <laughs> get it up and now pull it out now we gotta go put them in the pot get them ready you can the candy yeah let candy get them ready for you guys awesome I will. No. And this one is a female, guys. Yeah, that's a female. I know it's a female because of these, uh, th she has these underneath these claws. claws. Yeah, she's got these little claws to hold her eggs here. And a male would not have that. All right, gonna give them to Kenny. Oh, look, check out the stingrays, they're here. All right, check out these rays, guys. They're super cool, really in the flats here. If you've never done this before, I recommend that you try it. You can feed them and pet them. They come right up to you. This guy was just feeding for a long time. I think he's full now. He came when you left. But there's a bunch of other ones on the flats here. We just threw a bunch of basically anything, any type of fish or bait they'll eat. Um, and they kind of just roll, they kind of just swim by and scoop it up underneath and eat it on the sand. So they're really cool and uh, you can pet them too. So it's pretty neat. Just delivered the last lobster to Kenny, Kenneth over here. And he's already, look what he's got set up over here on the island. It's amazing. We got our conch salad and uh, he's already cut up all the veggies and if we want to add the hot stuff to it the hot peppers we'll do that later but i don't like hot stuff oh there we go That's some ghost pepper ghost pepper Woo! that's gonna be hot but let's just see what he just split that uh filet right open just like that and i think we're just gonna go ahead and stick it on our grill we brought with us so we are all set ready to go ready to have a grill out on a deserted island for lunch that is some fresh lobster that one too crazy oh crazy check it out guys delicious conch salad fresh super super fresh this is super tender conch thanks to kenny for making us this delicious conch salad let me go ahead and taste it i'm sure it's delicious i had some the other day it's so good here that is awesome really awesome i don't like hot stuff so no ghost pepper for me but it is so good guys wow all right guys unfortunately we need to leave the island we had part of our lunch we had our conch 
salad, but we need to eat our lobster, which is almost done on the grill. But we have this nasty storm headed this way. The wind is picking up. We're on a little flats, a little flats boat here, so we need to get back to dry land, to mainland, and then we'll finish our lunch there. So that's just part of the weather and how it goes down here. Gotta go. Wait. Do when we get back. Look at that lobster, guys. I think I'm gonna wait. That thing looks gorgeous. So you can go feed it back to the place. You gotta go. epic day guys I have never done anything like that just totally amazing that was an epic catching cook I don't know <laughs> catching cook I don't know how how any other way you would do it that's just amazing that's top of the line so you know and once again we're following our dreams and hopefully inspiring you guys to do the same and come down here to Old Bahama Bay Resort and check out and go with West End Water Sports and Captain Kenneth and he will put you on the lobster and you'll have an epic day out there so T truly, truly amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm sorry our, our cook portion kind of got cut short because of the, 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 uh, the rain and stuff, but now it's totally clear. That's just part of, you know, living in the Bahamas down here. So I'll go ahead and link the information and the ingredients and stuff we use down in the description below. I'll also link Old Bahama Bay Resort there. Check them out, located in West End Bahamas. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.